Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Wherever you are in the world, I greet you in the words of I am that I am. Blessed, abundant, and prosperous. My name is Queen Ra. Well, I know the thing says Yvette Rono, but my name is Queen Ra. How are you guys doing this morning? I've had to do, I arrived in the country on June 6th, and I stayed at a job that I was supposed to have for four days, and then I left. And then I moved to my girlfriend's house and I had to do all my paperwork for the Department of Aging. And once I got everything and I seen that Lhasa and C3 are only working with people who are drug addicted in their tents pissing on themselves, I said, let me go to Mr. Suited Up and Ready to Work, Mr. John Kelly, because I got my paperwork straight. He'll work with me, but I got to be serious. Went to Mr. John Kelly. He immediately gave me a ticket to go to lunch, came in there, brought me a bag of food, and then said, come back after lunch with your paperwork. Came back after lunch, he took his copies, put them in a folder, gave me a lady's number, said, uh, go over there, call her, and take her these diapers. I went over there and called her. She says, I'm in a meeting with another client. Can you wait? I said, yes, I can. Hmm. She came and called my name. She said, how are you with SRO? Do you owe them any money? I said, no, I'm in good standing. She said, well, let me check that. She said, you owe $120. Is that a problem? I'm like, no, I got that. She said, well, I have a unit. You can move in. I'm going to be gone for a week. Call me tomorrow for an appointment. Bring these papers in. Save your money. And uh, we'll move you in. Back to Golden West. She said they have renovated the apartments. And they got a new manager. So I'm excited to see what the renovations are because I heard Brownstone got air conditioners in their units, which would make sense because the apartments get very hot and there's no air filtration. So I'm gonna get a tower fan to circulate the air. I'm gonna get a uh, essential oil diffuser so that my room will always smell good. And uh, I'm going to cover all the walls and everything so it looks like my own piece of paradise. I don't know where everybody's at. It's early in the morning. Yeah, I'm on. Is this the, this is the 210 and the 40? Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, they're both coming. <laughs> so today I have to go to the bank and get six months of printouts. And I have to go to my doctor and have them fax this over to the other therapist. And then when I see her Tuesday, she can give me the paper. You're right on time. <laughs> yeah, I had just missed the 40. They're moving pretty fast this morning. I've been waiting about five minutes for the second one. Yeah, not bad this morning. I'm glad. Yeah, you're running very fast this morning. Thank you. I'm going all the way in. All the way. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> I'm on the bus. I'm carrying a lot of stuff because I'm taking my stuff to the bin to store it so when I have to move, I don't have to uh, do much. It's freezing back here. Man. The one time I don't bring my blanket, I'm freezing. So I'm going to be on the third floor. Renovated means new carpets. Maybe some new windows because the windows were horrible. And something was wrong with the plumbing in that building. But it's so funny because yesterday morning we were outside the building smoking some weed. And one of my old neighbors came out and said, oh, what do we have here? Some former clients of Go West. I'm like, and hey, so. <laughs> so when I go back, I think I'm going to have a pizza party and make some smoothies. You know, get stuff from the food bank and make it up and just you know, have a I'm back party <laughs> with a new attitude. Yeah. 
And then um, July 23rd, I have the appointment with IRS so the Department of Aging can process and assess me through their job training program. And I've already been placed at LA Mission for my job. He said, tell them when they're done processing you, to send you them, send you to me, I need you. I'm like, wow. <laughs> So I'll be working directly with the caseworker, John Kelly. Yeah. Also, I got the numbers for the census. I sent my resume and I called. They called me back. No, they sent me an email with the recruitment number. So when they have their recruitment events, I'll be invited. And that's when they hire directly. So I might have two jobs. <laughs> because next year I'll be 65 and what I'm hearing is they're cutting people who are on disability when you turn 65 they knock you off disability and put you on retirement. And a lot of people are losing some money that way. Now I worked a lot so but the point is, when I'm 65, I can make as much money as I want and still get my check. Because I'm tired of being broke at the end of the month. I'm tired of being hungry. You know, I'm tired of all that. So I'm ready to go back to work. Doing what I love to do. Working with people. So those of you who are out there who have housing issues, who have a mental diagnosis or a health diagnosis and you're over 55, go to the Department of Aging. They have all kinds of help, all right? Or dial 211. I'll see you later, I'm freezing. I'm on my hustle. It's 7.13, I start out at the bin dumping my things. See you later.